We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that insects can contribute to atmospheric electricity. Hidden fields drift across the sky, crowds of life that crackle with intent across unsuspecting tones of milky blues and scheming greys. Swarming, swerving, flitting, flowing, shifting, thronging, dancing, growing, living charges prancing through the firmament with the graceful ease of the great unknown. This poem is inspired by recent research published in iScience, which has found that aerial insects carry an electric charge, with some insects, such as honeybees, having a similar effect on atmospheric electricity as weather events. The Earth's atmosphere is always electrified to a greater or lesser extent, with variations in this electricity known to be caused by factors including precipitation, human-made pollution, volcanism and potentially even earthquakes. Given their ubiquity in the global atmosphere and the fact that many different species have been shown to carry an electric charge, it has previously been postulated that large clusters of flying insects might also provide a significant effect on atmospheric electricity. In this new study, researchers have measured the electric fields near swarming honeybees and in doing so have demonstrated that such swarms can produce as much atmospheric electric charge as a thunderstorm cloud. This research reveals how swarming migrating insects can transport charge in the lower atmosphere, thereby highlighting how large collections of charged insects can contribute to electrical variability in the atmosphere. These findings have various physically and biologically relevant implications. For example, this form of electricity is not considered in any of the current climate models. Given that insects are not the only source of biogenic charge in the atmosphere, birds and microorganisms also carry electric charge. This research further highlights the need for interdisciplinary research into the dynamic electrical interactions between physical and biological entities in the atmosphere. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Hidden fields drift across the sky, crowds of life that crackle with intent across unsuspecting tones of milky blues and scheming greys. Swarming, swerving, flitting, flowing, shifting, thronging, dancing, growing, living charges prancing through the firmament with the graceful ease of the great unknown. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading Myths of Electricity, a letter to Nicholas Tesla by Kevin Miao. Kevin Miao is an American poet who was born in Kaplan, Louisiana. He was educated at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. His poems have appeared in the Southern Review, Poetry, Prairie Schooner and Shenandoah. And his book, Myths of Electricity, published in 2005, won the Robert Phillips Poetry Chapbook Prize. He's also received a Ruth Lilly Fellowship and a Louisiana Division of the Arts Artist Fellowship. He currently teaches at Lamar University in Beaumont, Texas. Myths of Electricity, A Letter to Nicholas Tesla by Kevin Miao. My cousin once claimed he saw a tractor's axle magnetised by lightning. I've heard two of field hands found scorched, the coins and keys fused in their pockets, heard how splintered bolts can burn a person's silhouette into the wall or sizzle through miles of pipe and power line to set whole towns ablaze. 
No wonder you bow to such a God, believing clouds housed fires brighter than Christ. But what terrible and radiant angel did you invoke when voltage arced from the spinning coil? Jehovah gorged himself on holy madmen until their limbs went thin as a kindling sticks. How were you different from them, penniless, half-starved in your apartment and talking to phantoms? You often said the soul, like breathing, is a function of the flesh, said the body's mysteries veil more machinery, yet you bent to the shimmering scripture of science, saw a heaven that crackled with static and starlight, and you paid, just like all those raving saints, the cost of conjuring your insatiate God. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.